This is my fifth time recording this video. Hopefully I can actually use it because I live right across the street from a train track. And for some reason, this morning, they all decide to go by. As soon as I hit record, there's a horn and it just keeps honking and I'm just like, ah, why? Why today? Why not yesterday? Why not tomorrow? Why specifically today? It's Greetings and welcome to The Fan Perspective. I'm your host, Nathan Lyle, and this is WNBA Weekly, the show where twice a week, usually on Mondays and Thursdays, I talk about things that have happened recently in the association and things I'm looking forward to in the upcoming days. So, first of all, some of the biggest headlines, you've got Nancy Lieberman being announced as an assistant coach for the Sacramento Kings, and this coming on the heels of Becky Hammond and her success with the Spurs. I mean, Nancy Lieberman, anyone who knows women's basketball knows who she is, and Honestly, it, it seemed like the next logical step. I'm shocked it took this long. And then you've also got Sue Bird making history as she hits a 5,000 point mark on Sunday, becoming the first woman in the WNBA to ever have fi over 5,000 career points and 2,000 career assists. And so now, on to the games. There was a lot of action this weekend. It begins with Sakina Strickland hitting the game winner to give the Sun a one-point lead over the Storm, who lose their third straight. Then you've got Emma Miesemann having a big game, helping guide the Mystics to their fifth consecutive victory. Maya Moore, she has a dominating performance as the Lynx defeat the Dream, Atlanta losing their fourth straight. Then you have Candace Parker. She drops 31 points as L.A. for the first time this season manages to win on the road. And they did it against the Chicago Sky, who had the best home record in the league at that time. And then on Saturday, only one game, but it was a fun one. Ricrona Williams exploded for 35 points, and they kept it close most of the game. But in the end, the Lynx able to pull away. Tulsa Shock now lost six straight in games. Then on Sunday, just a whole big afternoon full of action, starting with you know a very tight game between the Mercury and the Dream. But the, the Mercury are able to hold on for their third straight victory. The Dream now lost five straight games. Then you've got Tina Charles and the Liberty dominating as they grab the win, heading Seattle their fourth straight loss. Then you have Candace Parker with her du huge double double, and she helps guide the. Box to the victory against the Stars. LA has now won two consecutive road games. And then you have Elena Deladon scoring 22 points, including the go ahead bucket with 20 seconds to go to give the Sky the lead, which they were able to hold on to. And they end up winning. You know, they bounce back from their loss and they're able to get the win against the Mystics. And now they're only like half a game behind them for that second place spot. And then last but not least, you have the Fever defeating the Connecticut Sun as the Indiana goes on to win their third straight. Ooh, and so now we're going to look at a few games that are going to be coming up this week. As always, you can see, every, you can, I'll tell you which ones are being played nationally, which are actually quite a few. You know, now as the season goes on it's in the second half, you're going to see a lot more televised games. So try to make time to watch them if you can. And, and if you can't, well... You know, you, well, just try to if you can. If you can't, we'll understand. You know, at least come and watch my show. As long as you're watching my show, that's the most important part. <laughs> and, and, so, uh, all, I'll tell you which games are being broadcast nationally. Otherwise, check your local listings or you can catch every single one of these games on WNBA Live Access. And so we'll start with Tuesday. You've got San Antonio at Connecticut at 7 p.m. I also forgot to mention all of these games Eastern Standard Time. So make sure to check for your own time zone. And so San Antonio, Connecticut, 7 p.m. is the only game this week that's not on TV. And, you know, San Antonio, they, they're the only, they are now the only team in this league that has not won a road game yet. Good news for them, Connecticut has one of the worst home records in the, of any team in the league. So it's not like this is necessarily a guaranteed win for the Sun. But it's definitely not a guaranteed win for the Stars either. It might be competitive. I plan on watching it anyways. Then you've got Indiana at Chicago. That one at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on NBA TV. And of course, you know, so this is the last time they're going to play this year. Right now, it's Chicago barely in front of Indiana for that third spot. And so this is the, the last time they're playing in the regular season. And so far, Chicago has beaten them every single time. 
And then you've got Tulsa at Phoenix at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on ESPN3. And at the same time, you've got Minnesota at Los Angeles at 10 p.m. on ESPN2. So what I would do is I would just like put the links in uh, links in Sparks game on TV and then get up your tablet, get the Watch ESPN app and just have the Tulsa Phoenix game in the background in case Brittany dunks or something. You know, that way you can have the best of both worlds. I mean, you can get live access too. Either one works, but the, if you don't already have Watch what. If you don't already have live access, the Watch ESPN app is free. And so you can download it just for this one game and then delete it again. And then you've got Wednesday, San Antonio at Washington at 7 p.m. on NBA TV. San Antonio, once again, still winless on the road. And now they're playing two road games in a row on back-to-back -back nights. While Washington, you know, before their loss to the Sky, who are a great team, Washington... Was, was on an incredible winning streak, and they're, 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 now they fought their way into second place, so they're a fairly dominant team. It, like, it'll, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be a tough game for the Stars. And then you only have one game on Thursday, and that's the loss, that's Tulsa at LA. And Tulsa, well, let's just say this much, LA is probably going to be right back in the playoffs as, by the end of this weekend by the time we get to this weekend. So, yeah, that, anyways, that game's on at 10.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on NBA TV, so be sure to check that out if you can. Be sure to check out all of these games if possible. And until next week, this is been, until Friday, for we're tuning in on Friday for another all-new episode of WNBA Weekly. And until then, this has been The Fan Perspective. I'm your host, Nathan Mel. Have a good week. These goddamn trains have thrown me off. Uh, I'm going to go do laundry now.